Okay, before we run our WordPress Docker, we're going to need to prep this uh, Maria database Docker a little bit. Now, home Ubuntu Maria in the last video we just mapped, and if I type, it was empty. If I type ls, you can see all of the MySQL information that is inside of that container is now uh, on the host operating system. So there's all of our database stuff. Okay, well, let's go ahead and log into this. And I'm going to do a docker exec hyphen IT, my Maria, which is what we call the container, bin bash. Now we're in there. Okay, if we're going to log into the MySQL command line. We're going to go MySQL uh, hyphen U root. We're going to say hyphen P to prompt us for a password. And we're going to type in our super secret password. In my case, it was password. And I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to create a database for our WordPress here. And I'll call this my WordPress. There we go. So if I do a show databases, I think, we can see that under show databases, we've got our information schema, my WordPress, my SQL, and performance schema. And um, brushing up on your MySQL and the ability to sort of get in and update and stuff like that is never a bad idea. But all we have to do here is know our username, know our password, and create a database. In this case, my database is called my WordPress. Very simple. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and exit out of this. And let's go back to our Docker Hub, and here is our WordPress Docker. All right, and let's uh, scroll down here. I clicked on the wrong one. You can see I clicked on WordPress Develop CLI, not what I wanted. Here we go, and here's all the information we need. And you can see here that we're going to pass this a series of environment uh, variables. We're going to pass it the WordPress DB host, the user. Um, we're going to figure out which ones that are required for us to uh, pass in. So our DB user is going to be um, root because that's the user we have on the MySQL database right now. Uh, the password is going to be the password you configured. The database name is going to be my underscore WordPress. But we're going to need to tell it where to find that database on the Docker. And that's the DB host. In this video, we're going to utilize two different Dockers. We're going to utilize a WordPress Docker and a MariaDB Docker, which is a MySQL Docker. This Docker over here is going to run our WordPress. And this Docker over here is going to run our MySQL, but we're going to store all of our MySQL database information on the host operating system so that if the MySQL application ever gets compromised or we want to upgrade it, it'll be very easy to do that. We can just swap out the... MySQL MariaDB application Docker, and all of the information that's actually in the database will be on the host operating system for this. And in order to do that, we're going to have to use what's called a user-defined network. We're going to have to connect these two Dockers over essentially a private network. So we'll first create a network with um, Docker. Network create my network. And that's just going to create a private network that we can then reference and utilize with these two Dockers. So let's uh, jump over to Docker Hub. And we're going to search for MariaDB. You can see here's our MariaDB with 10 million downloads. Here are all the downloads that we can do. We're going to pull latest. And here's one way we can run it. You can involve the MySQL root password with the hyphen E, which is the environment variable. You can pass these things environment variables. That can be helpful. We're going to change that. We're going to give it a name, but we also want to store our data on the host operating system. So if we come down here uh, where it says store where to store data, we can see here's an example of how to create a volume, just like we did one of our last videos, on the local machine that links to the volume in the Docker where all the database information lives on the disk. So we can keep it all on our host operating system. It's no longer, the information's no longer tied to the container. So I'm going to copy this command right here. 
because that's the one that's going to allow us to run MariaDB. And we're going to do a Docker pull MariaDB latest. Pause the video, pull that. We're also going to go ahead and pull WordPress. So go ahead and pull WordPress latest. Pause the video, get that one. And here I am at home Ubuntu. I'm going to do an MKDIR and I'm just going to call this Maria because we need a folder on our host operating system to store all this database information, right? So um, here's our folder, which I just ch modded. Bad practice, bad practice, but I'm going to do it just to avoid any problems here. And if I cd into that, you can see that there's no information in there. Okay, following along, I hope. And I need to go back and I need to recopy, looks like, this command here. And let's paste this command and then modify it. All right, so the password, I'm going to make super secret and super hard to guess. I'm going to call it password. So we'll have a root password of password. Um, our local directory for our data is going to be home Ubuntu Maria, because that's what we just created. And I will call this Docker my Maria. Okay, so we're going to create a container called my Maria. We're going to store locally our MySQL information. We're going to have a root password. Oh, and we're going to need to do um, hyphen hyphen network. I know I'm working off the edge of the screen now. Uh, my network because we're going to want to link this into our little private network that these two Dockers are going to be able to communicate over. And I forgot to put um, latest here. I left that alone. This is our latest. That's what we had pulled earlier. Excellent. Okay, so uh, if I do an ls inside of this directory now, you can see that it's been populated with all of our uh, MySQL information. We have MySQL database. We have all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and do a Docker. Let's create a database now that we can use. Docker exec hyphen it my Maria bin bash. Just like that. Now we're into our Maria Docker and we're going to use MySQL hyphen user root hyphen p to prompt us for a password. We're now going to log into the MySQL application on this Docker using a password of password. And I'm just going to create a database because we're going to need one. So I'm going to create database and I will call this WordPress underscore DB, the semicolon at the end. And I can verify that with show databases. We can see that when I show databases, I have information schema, MySQL, and there's our WordPress DB that we'll use when we set up our other Docker. Okay, if we have all that set up and um, Docker PSA shows that your Maria is running, you can see here it's on port 3306, but it hasn't been exposed to the internet or anything like that. Um, I think we're good and it's time to move on to the next video where we'll go ahead and we will install WordPress.